put you guys going to another video here for you. This one will be the last video for 2015 and uh, We'll be going into 2016 where I'll be making more videos for you guys. Now this video is maybe uh, not for some people but it's for the Windows XP Embedded POS Ready 2009 Elevational CD that you can download from Microsoft. Now this is the uh, point of sale ready um, Windows XP installation that we're going to be doing. Now you may be asking why am I installing XP? Well this still has support up until April 2019 and you can still get updates for it and uh, it runs when uh, office microsoft office 2010 uh, and below and it's still a very functional operating system to some people now the reason why i'm making this is because there is a lot of pc repair techs that still have to work with uh, pos uh, ready uh, systems and uh, so it's going to be useful if they need to know how to install the whole operating system it's slightly different to windows xp so we're going to take a look at how we're going to install uh, this onto a virtual box but you would be uh, installing this onto an actual machine itself it's the same process so let's get started anyway so to start the installation process off we're going to boot to our usb flash drive or cd depending which way you've set it up and you can change that by changing the BIOS boot order. And once we've booted to this uh, disk or USB flash drive, you can then start the installation process. Now you can see it's it's different compared to uh, Windows XP. There's going to be some slight different differences to it. So what we want to do here is going to click next. Now the installation method, you've got two uh, installation methods. You've got the interactive one and you've also got unattended setup. To set the unattended setup, you will need to make sure that you've got your answer file all ready to go. So all your automated questions have been answered. So it will just automatically set that up. We're gonna be doing the interactive one here because I don't have the unattended part set up. I'm gonna go next. Now we need to put in our license key now we're going to be using the trial license key which will give you 120 days uh, trial for this uh, software so i'll just quickly uh, type that in here i'm going to accept the uh, license agreement and the name you can put in whatever you like i'm just going to put my name in here brightech and uh, the organization you can put in with it whatever you like go next so for the drives you can set it up as no additional storage drives uh, or required and uh, you can set this up as you want uh, or you can put it as install third-party storage drives we're going to leave that as the top one here go next and now you can see I've set this up with a partition of 10 gigabytes there's not going to be much content on here so I'm just going to set up. You can set this up. You can see the minimum requirement is 512 megabytes. Um, so we're going to set this up by clicking on unpartition space, create a partition. We're going to leave this as standard here. Click OK. And then we're going to come down to where it says partition one here and then go next. Here's where you can name uh, your volume if you want to. going to call it that and leave it as the C drive perform a quick format click next now you can uh, select your language you've also got uh, some extra language here as you can see install files for Eastern Asia uh, languages as well we're going to leave this off go next and then next again now this part here you can see uh, this is uh, the Chrome installation type includes the .NET framework uh, POS for .NET 1.1 uh, well, sorry 1.12 and you can see here if you want to you can go to custom if you wish or minimum depending on how you want to set it up now the custom part is going to allow you to add in some extra features if you're going to be using those extra features and I'll just show you what they are and if you look here you can see the extra features are 
accessibility tools, utilities. If you look at utilities, you've got the command line and all that sort of stuff. Additional uh, drives, uh, indexing service if you want that. Again, there's loads of other bits and pieces here. Um, I just want to show accessories here. The accessories, if you want the calculator, um, character map and so on, all uh, added in, you can do that. Word and paint, or word pad and paint. These are all disabled uh, because they're not really needed on a pulse ready system. Uh, but if you do want to set this up, you can come in here and do that. Uh, also down the bottom here, you can see the Windows Media. That's the Windows Media Player Format 11. And uh, if you wanted to tick all these, you could tick them all. If you want to do on the custom part, it depends on how you want to go about setting up yours. So what I'm going to do now is go next. You're going to leave this as custom, but you can see here the manage size here. Uh, for your virtual memory you can either set this as a system managed size or no paging file now this will all be taken care of if you did the typical installation so we're going to leave that as is go next and you can see the computer name here uh, I'm going to leave that as is and the password will need to be um, with capital letters and some numbers so I'm just going to do that now go next also the TCP IP uh, settings this is if you're on a domain or you want to set up a, an IP here um, your own IP system uh, we're just going to leave this as uh, default and it will set all that out for us and you'll see here join a work group or join a domain so if you're on a domain you can set that up here by clicking on join the domain and pull your domain information in we're just going to leave this as work group here uh, Click next, and now we can start to install. So now we need to uh, log into the administrator account here. So for the first time, so what we want to do is type in administrator. And then we need to put in the password that we created for the administrator account. Now we can click OK. This will start to log in and create the desktop and everything. Here we go. And that's all ready. So as you can see here, that's the actual desktop here. And you can see um, your computer may be at risk. It's because it needs to update and everything. But you can see here we're running Service Pack 3 uh, on this system. Uh, it comes uh, pre-Service Pack 3 installed. Uh, so if you want to look at the updates, you can set up your updates here uh, to your time and stuff. And uh, we're going to automatically set those uh, for automatic updates. And the automatic updates uh, should start to update straight away. But as you can see here, this is your actual uh, menu system here. You've got all your bits and pieces, your Word, Paint. All this is because we um, asked for this to be added in. Now, if you did not want all this added on, then you could uh, leave those ticks out and just do the typical. And it would leave a lot of this stuff out. Also, it's uh, added in a few other bits and pieces, as you can see here. But pretty much uh, you've now got a system that's uh, up to date. Okay, so I've installed the uh, driver now, just downloading uh, updates for it, as you can see, working fine. Everything's working fine. So all the updates should come down uh, on this version. And just let those install. And as you can see here, we are running uh, Service Pack 3 and all the other updates will just download as and when you need them. Now, obviously, uh, you will need to put in a driver sometimes now you can use your driver cd for your computer uh, to install the network drivers and other drivers that you may need if you're running virtual machines i.e virtual box uh, you may also need to uh, install the network driver and stuff like that um, 
but that's uh, easy enough to do where you can download it on the main computer and then transfer the driver across so we're pretty much uh, good to go here now we're ready just for the updates to uh, update themselves and uh, we're pretty much good to go here you can switch to classic mode if you wish here you've also uh, will just let the updates come down uh, but you will have updates up till uh, 2019 April 2019 you can install office if you need to on this um, up to office 2010 works on this version um, if you wish to do that uh, but anything over that like office 2016 will not work uh, on here only up to office 2010 so if you've got 2007 that will work fine 2010 will work and so on 2003 and below that but anyway I'm going to wrap this one up so that's how you can install a Windows embedded POS ready 2009 system works just as well as XP does and as you can see here pre-functional uh, you we're running the elevate elevation copy here but if you did have your license key you just have to install your license key uh, where I installed the um, default uh, elevation license key in and that'll be it you'd have the full, full working um, system anyway so I'm gonna wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos and also, if you've got any problems with your computers, you can head over to the forums and post over there. If you've got any video requests or questions, you can head over there. That's probably the best place to catch me. If you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then the information should be on the screen right now. Anyway, have a great week, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.